Coaches, do you have a favorite defensive play from a year ago? Oh, one man. that kind of stands out to you. You're, you're welcome to spotlight one of your guys. I feel like yeah. every every position coach has kind of given us an answer that yeah. relates to their position. Nah, there's so many. Uh, I think probably uh, man, it's a lot of. Them. I don't know, it's easy to say Jinx play in Dallas. It's easy to say Dewey's play in Baltimore. Yeah, it's a lot. You can take one of those two. You can go with Jinx, Cowboys, Dewey versus Baltimore, one of those two. All right, perfect. All right, thank, thank you, Coach. You. Appreciate it. What's, What's going on, Coach? How, how you doing? How y'all doing? How you doing? Good, good to see you. Good. How you feeling about some of those second year guys, uh, Buster and Junior? Yeah. How, how, how have you seen them grow from a year ago to now? Yeah, I, th I think the big thing is they're not the rookie in the room in, uh, anymore. Uh, <laughs> That's the biggest notice, but you know, just the maturity of the bodies, the understanding of the game has increased. You think about um, Greg Jr. coming from Ochawak Baptist, you know, which was a small school. I'm sure the playbook was a little bit different, but now his understanding of our playbook, you know, being able to apply it to the field, it's gonna, it's gonna show its way through it, through training camp and into the preseason games where you'll see some of his athletic ability that he has. And then with, um, with um, Buster, it's just, He's just a solid corner. You know, he's a guy that played some last year, and now he gets a, another opportunity to prove upon that this coming up year. How helpful is it when you have a guy like Tyson in your room who's a young vet who is putting it together on the field, but he's right. also a leader. He's staying after yeah. practice, working with some of the yeah. younger guys on techniques and things like that. How helpful is that for yeah, you as I, a coach? I think it's awesome. You know, you got him, you have Darius, you know, you have Trey, you have some older guys in the room that are able to talk to the young guys and able to give them examples and pointers of what they do. Because the only way you can become a better player is you have to look at what others do and see how you can incorporate that into your game. And when you have guys on the field that do it as well as those guys have, it's good ears to lean on. You think people sleeping on Trey? Uh, no, I don't care about those. You know, I, we, That's why he's here. You know, So we're not sleeping on him. You know, We understand who he is and we understand that he is a valuable pro on our team, so and that's why he's better. I was just going to say, how tired are, are you of hearing the Jags don't have a nickel corner? Yeah, you know, that's that's the thing. Everybody, you know, we always want to, you know, say what you don't have. But what we do have, we have a pro. We have a guy that's played at, at, at different spots on the field, corner, nickel. He can play safety for you, and we know where he's going to be. And as a coach and as a Organization, when you have guys that you can count on, those are hard to get rid of. Mike said, you know, every position is obviously up for grabs. It's yeah, the nature of it. No but, but I mean, it, it is Trey right yeah. now in the driver's seat for you guys. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It's, you know, but, you know, we, we, this is a what have you done for me now league. You know, this is a, a business where you have to prove yourself daily. And uh, if you're not proving yourself, somebody else go take it. You know, the, the scouting department does a, a, a job of, where they go on the road right after the draft to find your replacement. Now we talk about that. We understand this is the part of the business that, that you have to go through. But if you want to keep your job, you better find a way to get better every day. Who and are, if you're not, you're going to get passed by. Who are those young guys that are competing with him? Oh, man, the whole group, everybody. You know, you got, you still have uh, Greg Jr. You know, he'll, he'll get some, some reps. Um, Clay Brooks will get some reps. Um, Braswell, Hallett. You know, all those guys get opportunities to see if they can play it and Trey, Trey of course, to get his. What position does Eric play, Hallett? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's probably a nickel safety mix, you okay. know, with some position flex at corner if needed. You know, but you'll see him line up at safety um, and nickel more than that. Thing. When you look back at last year, the fact that Darius started at nickel and then he moves to the outside. Right. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, but do you look back on it and say maybe he should have been from the outside from the jump, or nah, do you guys it, say nah, everything he happens? Has some, he has some good games where he played inside. You know, if you look at his his point of attack plays when he was in inside the nickel, he has some he has some good games. And it's just he's a guy that you know he transitions more at corner. You know, that's that's what he played his entire year career. But if he's more comfortable somewhere, that's that's where you need to put him. And then Trey is. He has some good games at corner. You know, you look at the San Diego game, he had played excellent at San Diego, I mean, at San Diego, at the Chargers. It's all good, we, we all do it, we Sorry. all do it. The one with the bolts, yeah. He played well at Chargers game. He has several games where he played well, and he's, he has a position flex where he can go inside and be a little bit better against the run than what um, D. Will does. So, you know, it's just how the game goes. You know, you find pieces as you go, it's your first year together. 
and then you find the best pieces for your team, and that's what you go with. Let's go back in your memory banks for a minute, if you can. Uh, How much you pain in the ass was Fred Taylor? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I can go way back to the memory bank to the <laughs> SEC championship game, 1994. Oh. So I can go back a little bit further than others before he got to Jacksonville. And, and man, he was, uh, a, he was a load to tackle. And, you know, I, I remember one game I made a tackle. I might have had my shoe spatted, but after I tackled him, my spat was gone. So that lets you know <laughs> what kind of tackle that was for me. But Fred Taylor, he was uh, one of the toughest players we had ever had to play against. Even in Pittsburgh, I remember he was one of the few running backs that I know we gave up two 200-yard games against. So that lets you know his his ability, and I don't understand why he doesn't have one of those jackets on, which hopefully he'll soon get. That was my next question.